All right guys, thanks for stopping by. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a classic tart dough. The French would call this pat sucre. It's interesting because you mix it like a cookie dough, but it's actually rolled like a, like a pie dough. So it's not hard to do. You just need to organize your ingredients. You wanna keep them cold the whole time. And if you have a KitchenAid mixer, it will be even easier. So get yourself set up and we'll get this mixing. Great, so now that you're nice and organized, let's get started with the, uh, the tart dough. Get your mixer set up, and in the mixer, you're gonna add your soft butter to begin with. Then add your sugar. We're gonna cream these two together on low speed in the mixer. It should look like that now, relatively smooth. Here, add your eggs one at a time on low speed. Now add your flour all at once and a little bit of salt. So add your cover to your mixer and you're gonna bring it together. It won't take very long. You're basically making a cookie dough, like a, a sugar cookie dough, if you will. It should look like that. Now take your cookie dough, tart dough uh, base for your tart and scrape it all into a bowl. And get a little flour in your hands. We're gonna briefly shape it and briefly knead it just to bring it together. Uh, you're not trying to really work it too much. And then we're gonna plastic wrap it and put it in the fridge. So once your tart dough is rested in the fridge for at least two hours or until it's pretty firm, it's a lot of butter, remember? Get some flour on your cutting board and we're gonna roll it out. It's like any pie dough, same method, roll it out. If it breaks or fall apart, don't worry, you can just take pieces and fill in the cracks. Make sure your tart pan is buttered up so your tart dough doesn't stick to it. If you have a, uh, a tart pan that releases, that's even better, I would use one of those. Again, do not worry if your tart dough tears or cracks at all. You can, it can all be fixed. You can move pieces around and just push them down like cookie dough. Once you have your tart dough in the pan, get some flour on your hands and just push it into the side so it's evenly in the sides and that the thickness feels even. And then trim it. Trim off the excess with a, uh, with a chef's knife. Just going in a circle. Then take a fork, you're gonna punch small holes throughout the dough, it's called docking. This is something you do whenever you blind bake a pastry, it will prevent it from blistering or rising up. Once your tart dough is docked, take it and put it in the freezer for 10 to 20 minutes until it's pretty firm. Once your dough is pretty firm to the touch, we're gonna blind bake it. So add some weight. Uh, it could be dried peas, dried beans, whatever. This will also stop your dough from blistering or uh, rising up in the oven. And put it in a 375 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. We're basically trying to get the dough half cooked. Once the dough looks cooked but not colored, we're gonna remove the weight that we added to it. We're gonna paint the dough with an egg wash. We're gonna add it back to the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes to get a nice color on it. So after around 30 minutes all in, remove your tart dough onto a wire rack to cool, and don't waste that little extra tart dough that you have. Make a thumbprint cookie. And for additional color and shine on the tart dough and for some nice glistening berries, take some apricot jam, put it in a bowl, add a splash of water, and throw it in the microwave for about 20 seconds till it's melted, and then pass it through a strainer. We will paint this on the tart dough and we will paint this on the berries. Once your tart dough is cool, remove it from the pan by flipping it onto a plate, something like this. Try to do it a little bit more gracefully than me. I'm sure you could. Cool, so add your apricot wash. This will give some nice color. It will also keep your tart shell a little bit crispier, but just allow it to cool and kind of firm up on the tart shell before we begin assembling the tart. 
All right, guys, that's it. That's how you make the tart shell. If you didn't want to do the apricot glaze, you could also do uh, white chocolate. A lot of patisseries do that as well. Uh, these are just, you know, additional buffers to keep your tart shell from getting soggy. Or you could just skip both of them and just serve it right away. That would work too. And you can fill this tart shell with any filling. I'm doing the classic vanilla pastry cream for our French berry tart, but the sky's the limit for fillings. Uh, it's really up to your imagination. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on pastry basics. Uh, I'd love to see what you guys put together and what you put in your tart shell. Until next time, keep on cooking. Have a great day, folks.